Guys, so uh, Hugo Bruce, Pafana Fana head coach, has announced his pre-squad to face off with um, Ghana and as well as Zimbabwe in the World Cup qualifiers that are coming next month. And I got to tell you, man, I'm impressed. Yeah, I am impressed. I'm seriously impressed. I look at that squad and it screams progression. It screams look forward for me. It's younger as well. It's younger as well. I... I love the squad. And I like the fact that it's infused with players who did well at the Kosovo Cup and as well as players that are in the under-23 squad that went to the Tokyo Olympics as well. You know, it just screams progression for me. I mean, I wrote down a couple of names that I'm really impressed with. I'm not going to announce the whole squad now. But, I mean, I'm impressed with Velimot was there. Mlungwana is there. Kafu Pet is there. Njablu Nobo is there. Kodi Sang is there. Mukwena is there. Yaya Sitol is there. Njablu Blom is there. Ethan Brooks is there. Shongwan is there. Lynx is there. Mahopa is there. Tau is there. Percy Tau is there. Singh is there. Mkulisa is there. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, if, if, <laughs> if we're going to complain, I, I, I think we're nitpicking if we complain. I think we're nitpicking if we complain. I, I, I really do think that it does scream of a new era and a new dawn. And I was really looking forward to this to see in terms of what is going to be the progression, what is going to be the vision. And I think with this squad that has been announced, I think it's been there. They've laid out the footprints and you can only just imagine how better the squad will be if they, if they keep playing together. You know, what the squad is going to look like in one or two years' time when they keep playing together, when they create combinations together, that, whole, that, that sort of a thing. And that's what this team screams of, youth, progression, look forward as well and i think if i had to be nitpicky if i had to be very nitpicky i'd probably ask why lala k is not there i'd probably ask why maybe Lars velvick is not there with his form that he's had in asia but other than that i think it's a really good squad and i don't think it's the final squad he has to still trim it down before we actually get to the games but i like it i really do i really do and i think uh hugo bruce and his technical team have outdone, them outdone themselves and big ups to them and i'm really gonna get behind this project